My name is Neil Malik, and in today's Everyday Office, we're going to show you how to do a dynamic or conditional label for a chart. So normally, when we talk about using data labels in a chart, like this one, for example, if I click directly onto the chart itself, I can go to my chart tools up at the top of the screen, go to the Design tab up at the top of the screen, add some chart elements and data labels right here I could decide to put you know like a centered or an inside end or an inside base um, box so that you could see more information about these different bars the problem though is in this situation here I probably just based off what you see right now I probably just want to call out what's interesting about the orange bar, right? Because I've taken all of this time and effort to make that orange bar really stand out. It stands to reason that I wouldn't maybe even want to have the data labels for all the rest of this, or, or maybe I want the orange one and then maybe the second and third biggest bars. So I see some context there, but I definitely don't need data labels for bars that don't even exist. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in, let's say, an inside end data label. But next what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide not to have the data labels come directly from the existing data, but rather have some sort of function that generates a useful label for me. And I can do this pretty much anywhere, but I'll just do it all over here to the right hand side so it's easy for us to see. I might do something like... Um, new labels right here and, and let's say that for the new labels the first thing I'll try out is that I just want to show not the raw dollar amount because the raw dollar amounts are immediately to the left but maybe percentages so I'll do equal sign and take the forty eight thousand dollars divide it by the sum total of all these salaries right here lock that down with a keyboard shortcut of F4 and close the parentheses. So this is take $48,000 and express it as a percentage of all the salaries. Take $113,000, etc. And so I'll just now uh, autofill this down like so and then format this up as a percentage. Now what's cool about this is that now what we can do is click directly onto the data labels and use the keyboard shortcut control 1 in order to format these labels or potentially go to the format tab at the top of the screen go to format selection and when format selection opens up on the right what I want you to notice is that here under your label options uh, tab the one that looks like a chart right here you'll see that there's a checkbox that says instead of getting the value right instead of getting the value from the data that's actually in the chart itself Let's get the data from the cells, from cells that are somewhere in there. Let's get the data from a different set of cells. So I'll click the checkbox here for value from cells, and immediately I see select data range. So I'll just come over here, I'll highlight this data range, and click OK. And now you can see it puts the percentage as well as the dollar amount in here. So now all I need to do is uncheck the checkbox for value and maybe for leader lines here too. And let's take a second and uh, format this. Maybe I want it to be maybe a nice clear white, for example. So I'll go to home. I will fill this with white and maybe bold it to make it really stand out a bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. But again, the problem here is that I don't necessarily want all those labels. You see that the white font has helped out the ones that are zeros here because they're on top of a white box, but what if they weren't on top of the white box? Here's what we can do next. Instead of just this simple calculation of what the percentage is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that original calculation and I'm going to say that if the value is not the maximum value, or maybe it's not the top two values, or maybe it's not the top three values, then we should not show it at all. So let's do this. If, and then the test will be, take cell T8 and compare it against the max of T8 through T24 here, locking it down with the F4 key on the keyboard, 
comma. Okay, so if cell T8, that $48,000, is the maximum value, then what we should do is we should output the percentage. Otherwise, comma, double quotation marks, close parentheses. The double quotation marks means that we're not going to have 0%. We're not going to have 9% or 19% or anything like that. We can just go ahead and leave it completely empty. Hit enter. And now autofill this down. There it is. So only the 46% shows up. And in fact, when I come over here and I shift from the Fountain Valley of Col Colorado to, let's say, San Mateo, I can see that San Mateo is uh, the junior consultant field, is the biggest field. It constitutes 21%, and the 21% is here at the end of my bar. So by having this if function, we can output nothing in a lot of situations. And by using the data label functionality that says, please use the value from cells, we can pull it away from those raw dollar values and over here towards cells that I'm actually using to figure things out.